Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how to filter a list by another list and at the same time make the UI really cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, let's say we've got um, organizations and as well as organizations we're going to have locations. Okay, and a location can have multiple, uh, let's do it from organization relationship with locations okay an organization can have multiple locations a location um, hold on yeah this one the one in the middle okay um, all right so now we've got locations um, with a name and with um, yeah, both them with the name and relationship. So let's add an organization. Okay, let's have Google. Let's have Amazon and Microsoft. Okay, and for locations. Okay, this could be the offices or the branches of any business. So um, let's have um, a New York branch, let's have um, Seattle, okay, and let's have London, okay, Microsoft's got two, um, and then let's have another London one for Amazon, and uh, Paris for Google, okay, and Singapore. No, Amazon. Okay, so um, what I've done there, just add some sample data. Now let's really get into it. So we're going to have a custom list. And then next to that, we're going to have another custom list. Okay, oh, you cannot copy and paste a custom list, it would seem. So we're just going to put them next to each other and line them up. Okay, and all we're going to have there is the name. Okay, if you want to be fancy, maybe you put um, a logo in there. Okay, before we add data, this one's a list of organizations. This one's a list of locations. Let's have the organization name. And here we have the location name. Okay, the next thing we're going to do on this group make the rectangle and the text into a group and then copy and paste it, drag it down. So now on the left hand column we've got two and what we want to do is have the rectangle here be a different colour. Okay, And what that's going to be is basically the selected organisation is going to be showing a different colour. Okay, um, Maybe I want something a bit darker okay and then let's change the text to white um, a bit bolder okay and a bit bigger okay um, right so next we need a way to see which one is being clicked or not and we'll do this with a text input now you can hide it on the screen or have another screen for your variables Okay, and this one will be, um, let's do it as text, uh, normal, and it'll be organization. Now, the important to note here is that the way we're doing it, each organization name will be need to be unique. If there's going to be any that are not unique for whatever use case you have, you need to make sure you've got another column that will be a unique ID. Um, otherwise, we're going to have a problem. Okay, but we've got um, our organization input. I'm going to keep it displayed there just so you can see what's going on. Okay, now let's say we click this group in the left hand menu. We'll put an action on that to change input value of the organization to current organization name. Okay, and then that group at the top will be sometimes visible if the organization 
is not equal to current organization name. Okay? It's comparing the text box organization to the database organization. Then we have the opposite visibility on the orange part. So it's sometimes visible if the organization text input is equal to the current organization name. Okay? And then on the second list, um, we're going to have our locations and we're going to have a filter where the um, location's organization name is equal to the text input. Okay. And I'm going to have auto refresh on because I believe maybe that's going to help it load quicker and be a bit more of a smooth interface. Okay. Once again, I'll increase the size of the text. All right, so let's have a look if this is working. Okay, um, all right, so the problem here, I suppose, is that this is empty. All right, so for some reason, it wants to show all of the organizations, uh, which is a shame. So firstly, let's just show you what we've got so far is working. So if I put Microsoft, you've now got the list of their locations. If you've got Amazon, you've got their locations. And Google, just their Paris location, just like we set it up on the database. Okay. Now let's just have a look at our list logic. So we should the organization name should be equal to the text box. However, um, it's not the behavior we'd expect, but clearly that's not working. So we probably want to have a default value here, okay? And if we've got a default value, it definitely won't be a match. So let's just try that again. Okay, so here we've just got the one list. There's no locations um, who have an organization of name one. So uh, we've got over that problem now. And then we've just got our really cool list. Okay, so um, of course, building this into your app, you could have the London, go to their London page, etc. But I think this is a really nice interface um, for many different things you might do in your app. So I hope that was helpful to you. And if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will do my best to respond to them. See you next time.